Hello Twin Flames, this is Victoria and I'm here with your daily energy check. As some of you already know, today is the 777 portal, 7th day of the 7th month, and uh, 2023 is actually numerologically year 7. If you add up uh, the numbers, they will come to a 7. So uh, this is a pretty big milestone uh, for from several aspects but today i want to do this reading with the intention in mind to see how uh the twin journey twin flame journey is impacted by this uh energy the energy of this day and as usual what can we do to make the most out of it i'll start with an oracle deck is the enchanted map for today i will pull some messages at the end between the twins today i'm actually going to use my karmic messages deck for a change so stick around all right so first the card for divine feminine watching so it will be like the usual the format of the usual reading but with the intention in mind of how um are the energies impacted by 777 portal what do feminines need to know wishing well number 48 have bright lights yeah that's why it's <laughs> you really have to play with it let's see and before i begin uh, i have now uploaded the july forecast for all of the elements so you can find your reading by element i have water earth um, air and fire all on my channel so check them out if you haven't done so yet Desire is the sacred impulse of all life. Feel it, but let go of all attached, or all attachment to ownership. Desire is the most important impulse for creating life. Now you are seeing the relationship between desire and inspiration. And sensing that moment of truth when you feel the inception of new life. It is an aha moment when everything makes sense. Perhaps you recognize a soulmate, or are conceiving a baby, or an idea. The Wish and Well card awakens you to the presence of unseen forces that enable new beginnings. Divine intelligence activates the field of possibilities where new life is co-created in a magical way. Neither you nor anyone else can know now can know how or why this happens. It just does. To that end, you can control the process of growth. Rather, you must step aside to be a channel for higher forces and relinquish any attachment to how this new creation should appear or when. Form your intention and take action by dropping the coin into the wishing well. Then trust in spirit. Prepare to be amazed. This is like one of the key manifestation principles and this is super powerful on a day like that. So I'm really happy that we're seeing it on the 777 day. Now, let's see what the masculines need to know. Okay. We got goblins, card number five. Yeah, a little <laughs> less festive, but important. Fear is an illusion. Choose love today. Forgive yourself and others. Goblins are born when you are wounded and something essential is lost in that experience. From that point on, as you forget your wholeness, they remain with you in the shadows. There, they remind you of what brought them into being by mimicking your own voice, tricking you into believing that you are unworthy, victimized, or unlovable. They hold you hostage through low self-worth, self-sabotage, and the feeling that you're lacking what you need. If goblins pay you a visit, know that they represent the shadow of your own self or someone else's, and that they're leading you into a potentially reactive situation. A goblin's card appearance is an opportunity for growth. However, is an opportunity for growth, however, <laughs> and a signal that you must love yourself. No human is without flaws. The goblin's message is that you must release resentments and negative self-talk. Within you is the spark of the divine. Ask spirit to help heal you. Miracles can and do happen. Let go of the negativity. So you can set that intention for yourself during this time, divine masculines, about healing 
um, the fears, the shadows, any kind of lingering energies of um, unworthiness or self-sabotage. I've seen that as I was uh, completing my uh, Zodiac readings for Mindful Bamboo channel, I actually saw that trend uh, in quite a few readings that somebody's partner, for example, was feeling that or they were projecting their, those fears on their relationship. And so this is a very important part. It may not look as glorious, but it's a very important part of personal growth and uh, attracting bigger and better things into your life. Okay. Let's get to it. So the um, Tarot Mystical Moments is going to be my Divine Feminine deck. Let's see how 777 Portal is impacting the Twin Flame journey for Divine Feminines. What is in the energies today? Ooh. There was four ones there. <laughs> in the split. We have Six of Swords in reverse in the meantime. <laughs> Full and the Emperor in reverse. All of them in reverse. Yeah, so I see that there are actually opportunities for building something new with the twin and also anchoring yourself in a balanced space between um, the earth and the heaven, so to speak. Um, during this time, you may feel disconnected, actually. That's what I'm getting. Disconnected from your twin flame, or ability to see new opportunities to connect or to move forward um, and maybe lack of potential or energy to uh, stay balanced like and be get the most of the two worlds you know the physical and the energetical space right but it's only there temporarily that's what I'm getting and also it's done on purpose because essentially it will allow you to almost it's almost like a reset button so that you kind of like um erase the uh the ram memory you know like because you've been overwhelmed with everything that's been going on so it's like a cleansing process and then this reset will get you uh to see everything clearly and you will be able to connect to those aspects of your life, to the person of your life easily and without extra fog or noise, you know, that was coming from those previous experiences in this cycle. I'm going to use the Thelema deck for the masculine energy. So let's see how masculine's twin flames are impacted during this time by this portal. So what do they need to know about the 777 portal? For both twins, of course, it's very much a spiritual journey or a spiritual uh, event. Nine of Cups, just clarify. I like that in this Nine of Cups, we have a girl on one of the cups, basically. Maybe behind the cups, but anyway, it's a girl. Oh my God, and Ten of Cups. Oh my God, this is adorable. and. This is also a very different Ten of Cups from the usual decks. This is like, it always reminds me of Disneyland and like the fairy tale. <laughs> it's also a progression between nine and ten. So the masculines are able to add that additional piece of love or get extra inspiration or find a new source of love that gets them from like their personal wish and their personal space to the happily ever after with, the, with their twin, uh, as well as with their friends and family, it was like a close circle. Because Ten of Cups, I mean, it has the swans here, of course, it has little kiddos too, right? It's um, in the forefront, we usually see that romantic love, um, not idealistic picture, but like that harmony, that euphoria, that emotional euphoria, right? But usually it also includes like, you know, more than one generation just telling us that this is more of a familial feeling, right? Like something that you experience with your close people, with your tribe, not just necessarily with that one person, especially if you're not in union with your twin or not together with your soulmate, if that's the person you are considering for the reading, right? But this is an ability to move, like to get that, act to add that extra edge to your understanding of love, to the purity of your feelings, and to 
the amount of joy that it can bring you, which is, wow, a really big deal. Okay, for the connection, I'm gonna use, I wasn't going to use this hair deck, but I will use the Muse deck. So just give me one second while I shuffle a little. How is the connection itself impacted during this time? How's the dynamic between <clears throat> the feminine and the masculine impacted? Yay. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with other people that you feel maybe needing to hear this message today. I do plan to do a Divine Masculine Chicken tomorrow. I don't know if I'll do the reading on both days, we'll see. It's been a busy week with all the forecasts and you know, Zodiac readings. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. We have the Wheel of Fortune and Page of Materials, which is Page of Pentacles. So guess what? Yeah, so definitely um, the fate is bringing you both closer, right? This portal is just naturally kind of like pulling you closer because the more you work through your own spiritual path and connect to your soul and to your mission, the, the closer you get with the person, with your person. And as much as it still can sound uh, illogical to our brain, that's exactly how it works, and that's how we should see that. Um, you know, becoming a better version of ourselves, using our connection as inspiration, right? Page of materials, it's also, it's like an impulse, like an instinct, right? Like that extra nudge, like, yes, I like what I'm seeing, and uh, I can't wait to get, you know, to experience more, right? Or see where that road leads me, right? It's that curiosity, it's that enthusiastic energy um can be a little bit naive but there is a lot of potential here let's put it that way so also what i'm getting is that you whoever is watching you don't know even you aren't even close to understanding how big this connection is and how much the two of you can do together right and with time you'll find out and maybe you'll find a little bit more information about your common path and mission during this time, some of you will, but the general premise is that you are, you guys are only getting started and there's so much more to look forward to that you don't even think about. It, you're not even dreaming about it yet, right? That will come along faster than you think with the divine illustration. Okay, messages, I promise to you, I've got my karmic messages here and although they are the karmic messages, I feel like when we do soul searching, it connects us to shadow work and especially for masculines, I saw that with the goblins card and it definitely connects us with the messages from like the karmic experiences. So let's get the messages from masculines to feminines first of all. Oops, it's a little too many. Okay, we have, I find you so incredibly attractive and sexy, it's intense. Another one, you're my star that outshines all others. Beautiful. And I do want you to meet my friends and family. Please give me time to sort myself first. So this is not for everyone, but if you, if you know, you know that your person is keeping you a secret or in some cases, maybe you already met their friends and family, but they're not introducing you as their partner. That's also part of that um, secrecy path uh, that's usually present in some shape or form in some phases of the twin journey um, while we're embracing that um, energy and uh, getting into a more comfortable space where it's like, um, yeah, they may have questions, so they may not understand, they may start gossiping, but 
I don't care. Nothing can break this bond, <laughs> you know, because sometimes actually there are two main scenarios usually. Either, uh, and that's, we're talking about DMs right now, right? Because that was the message from the DM. Either DMs don't want to introduce you uh, to their circle because you're too different from what, from the usual type and people just will not understand or you two have different uh, traits of character, preferences, maybe you live completely different lifestyles. And so you know that your friends and family will immediately say that it doesn't look like they're a good pair for you, you know, a good match for you. Or the second scenario where you feel like they will be gossiping or will be sabotaging somehow the relationship. Either intentionally or not, but that's how it usually works when people get meddled in. And um, that's going to happen, if, you know, naturally because those people care about the divine masculine so much. Okay, let's get some messages from DF to DM now. What would divine feminines like to share at this time? Not very talkative today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I feel lost and lonely without you. You make me want to be a better person. And I really do want us to work out. So all of them telling me that there is a, a lot of spiritual soul work um, going on under covers. And Divine Feminists are definitely moving to a happier and more excited place. Uh, thank you very much for joining me today, guys. Uh, I hope you use this day, this energy with intention and with uh, doing something that's feeding your soul in a good way and will actually encourage you to be a better version of yourself. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like the video.